how did you choose acting career? <laughs> <laughs> you look very wise and... <laughs> oh, oh, I fooled you already if you think it's, I look wise. I kind of did it. As a child, I don't know why, but my parents, I went to, they sent me to dancing school and to singing school. But I didn't think much of it uh, until I got older. I started doing it to investigate it. I was home once, I was ill. And so we had turned on the television all day, which I never looked at much television. And I began to say, you know, I, I think I could do that. Then some things I said, I know I could never do it. So I decided to go to acting school. So I enjoyed it, and I knew that I would do it. But as a hobby, I never thought that it would become what, what would be my life's work or that I would do it completely. I had a... I worked for the Department of Social Services, at, uh -huh. until mainly then, and this was like a, a hobby, I thought. But then it took me over. I don't know if I had much to do with it. I think it just came and grabbed me. And that's uh, how I started. So I studied. I went to a place called Dramatic Workshop uh, at that time, where I was never in his class, but I'm trying it's to... It's in New York City? Here in New York City, yeah. Uh, I don't think it exists anymore. Well, but when was that? It was where the old Capitol Theater was on Broadway. I, I, the Capitol Theater, everything is gone now. <laughs> Which year was that? This was like 1960. Wow. So <laughs> it was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I decided I wanted to be either, I was going to go to acting school or to DJ school. I wanted, you know, I was excited about the DJs on, tele, on radio mostly. But then uh, I went to the DJ school. I said, the other stuff is too hard. But the school was closed down because they had been cheating people. So I said, well, I'll go to acting school. And that's how it started, and I got involved in it. And uh, it took me over. I don't know that I had much to do with it. It just kind of happened, and I just kind of went along with the flow of the whole uh, experience. You, you were famous for... That particular show, uh, is that a car wash or? Well, that's the movie that's been on for 35 years. <laughs> oh, oh. And so even the little kids know it, or uh, I guess I don't look much different except I had a little more hair. <laughs> <laughs> and the beard was dark. But the music was uh, on, and it, the movie's been on yeah, all I saw, that I, time I at different wash. times. Yeah. yeah. I came in 83, but still, it's I remember still watching there. it. Yeah. And I think it must have been made like. I don't know, 80-something, in the 80s somewhere. What were you doing in that? Washing cars. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it is a white people's car or a black people's car. <laughs> it didn't matter. We didn't know who they just came through. <laughs> I went out. Uh, it was uh, kind of the first time I had gone to Hollywood to actually do a movie. Uh -huh. So it was a new experience for me. But I did learn, believe it or not, I learned all the mechanics of it. And I could re I was the only person in the cast that knew how to put up the lather and how to really wash the car, <laughs> just in case I could go back. 